I decided to build a new soil formicarium for my Pogonara Max. So I designed it up on paper, went down Home Depot, got these two pieces of acrylic, 18 by 24. So it will be a larger one. Screws to hold it together. One of these two, I'm not sure which one I'm going to use as far as the adhesive. We'll find something that works. And then these boards are a half inch thick. That's the thickness of the two. These two panels will be separated by these pieces of wood. And I have about a thinner panel that I'm going to use to build uh, a hydration system on the bottom. It's a little thinner. It's about two and a half millimeters thick. These are about five and a half millimeters thick. Okay, so I've cut the wood to length and marked it for the drill holes. Here we go. few cuts to make on this uh, thinner piece of acrylic so that I can make the hydration system. So I've secured it down to the workbench, my messy workbench, the piece of angle iron, and I'll go ahead and make the cut. Now I'll drill the holes through the both pieces of acrylic. Um, I've taped them together all, all around the side. And I have a glass and drill bit so it doesn't uh, ruin or you know crack or break the acrylic as we're drilling here. Just like that. Got nine more to go. So this is the hydration system I'm going to use. This is going to fit onto the bottom, slide up onto the bottom of the formicarium and I'm going to fill this with perlite and then it's going to be attached. Uh, there will be screws coming up, going through on both ends to hold it on tightly. And then I'll fill it. Um, I'll put a 3 8 inch tube, seal it well, and it'll it'll be a little bit longer than this one, and it'll be pointing up, so I can I can drain it easily if I want to clean it out. You know, if it gets dirty, uh, but it'll be pointing up, and that's how I'll fill it up. 
and then the bottom of the formicarium will have some mesh across it so there'll be some mesh basically all across here to prevent ants from digging down into that area I made this out of uh, a little bit thinner acrylic I used this Loctite um, to glue the pieces together and then along the inside I, I used some silicone just to make sure it was a nice watertight seal all around the inside edges. Well, it's assembled. I have uh, the hydration system on the bottom, you can see. Uh, it's full of perlite. And then that little tube coming out on the right hand side is where I'll fill or empty um, the water and then there's a barrier between um, the hydration system and the nest area uh, there's some there's a mesh there so the ants can't get through that but the, but the water and moisture can um, that's about it I, I need to build a base for it to hold it upright and then fill it with soil of some sort and put a lid on it and then introduce some ants should be exciting so this is uh, pretty much the finished product got it all assembled got a base uh, connected to it to keep it upright and stable. Now all I need is to fill it with dirt and seal the top, probably with some mesh, and introduce the ants to it. Turned out okay. This is where we'll let them in. On this side, and then at the bottom this is just to fill the, the water basin, the hydration section at the bottom. There is a little uh, plastic mesh barrier there so the ants can't get past it down into that perlite at the bottom. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'm excited to let the ants um, start digging. Well, I connected the, the new one. There it is. I don't know, is that too dark to see? Filled it up with a mixture of sand and a little bit of clay soil and then some top soil, some pebbles, and connected them. A little difficult getting the connection right. I lost, had oh, maybe 20 escapees. We got them all back and collected though. I didn't get stung, so that was nice. But this is the entrance I gave them. But yeah, they're really, the whole colony's kind of upset right now. <laughs> it's quite the move for them, quite the disturbance. Um, so I've got a, some tubing going through the, the plexiglass onto both sides. And then I cut a hole out in the middle of the tubing to give them access to the soil formicarium. And then wrapped it around, connected it with some of these custom made, well this Y connector is a custom made connector and then these L connectors are some of our standard connectors. But, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see uh, if they start excavating. I did want to get uh, one big picture, see the whole thing. Quite a, quite a big difference in the size of the two formicariums. That the one on the left is the one they're in now. The one on the right, they're moving into. Um, and then they've had the evening to do a little work here. It looks like they've been busy. A little glare here, but yeah, they've been. Uh,
I did change the the entrance from my original plan. This one was just a little more sturdy. I didn't want to run the risk of the the tubing, you know, being pulled out. I tried to make it a little more a little stronger. But yeah, they're going to fill up this outworld with dirt. I'll have to empty it probably. The plan is, um, once they've made the move, I'll take this outworld out of the setup. Excuse me, this formicarium out of the setup. And I'll probably add in uh, a second outworld right there. That'll be down, down the road a little bit.